Okay, this is the, a video for question number three. I also included question five, which I hope you did previously, uh, to help you uh, understand something to, to do this problem here. So the first thing is we're trying to figure out which one would have the higher boiling point and give a reason for your answer. Okay, well basically, ba basically here's the whole thing about boiling point and melting point. Okay, the, the greater the intermolecular forces in something, the greater the intermolecular forces, that equals the greater the boiling point. Okay? Now, you also got to remember the order of the strongest to weakest. So remember, an ionic bond is the strongest, okay, followed by a hydrogen bond, okay, then dipole, dipole, and then London dispersion forces. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to draw these things and figure out what type of forces they have in them. So CH4, if you were to draw that, okay, it's tetrahedral. Okay, and SiH4 is also tetrahedral. Okay, so if you look, they're tetrahedral, they're both nonpolar. So because they're both nonpolar, the only forces they have are London dispersion forces. So they both have London dispersion forces. But SiH4 has greater London dispersion forces because it has more electrons. And more electrons, okay, equals greater London dispersion forces. So, because SiH4 has more electrons and greater London dispersion forces, it's going to have the higher boiling point. And so, SiH4 is the correct answer for A. Okay, letter B. Okay, so you draw, you draw these out in what you would see is that this one here is like that and this one is like this okay and so now if you look at this one the CHCl3 is polar and CCl4 is nonpolar both have London dispersion forces which are the weakest forces but because CHCl3 also has dipole dipole forces, it's going to have it, the combination of the London dispersion forces and the dipole dipole forces are greater than just the London dispersion forces in uh, the CCl4. Okay, because this one has London dispersion forces and dipole dipole because it's polar, CHCl3 is going to have a higher boiling point than CCl4. Okay, CH4, C2H6. So you draw them both. So CH4 would look like this. And C2H6 would look something like this. Now, after you draw it, you would see that this one's nonpolar and this one's nonpolar. So they're both nonpolar. But the thing is, because they're both nonpolar, they, they both have one in dispersion forces, but because there are more electrons in the C2H6, it has greater London dispersion forces because it has more electrons when compared to CH4. Because C2H6 has greater intermolecular forces due to it having more electrons, it's going to have the higher boiling point. Okay, last one here. MgO, well, MgO is a metal to a nonmetal, so it's going to form an ionic bond. Okay, and CO, it's going to be a polar molecule. All right, but it, and because it's polar, it has London dispersion forces and dipole dipole, but MgO and CO, they, these also have London dispersion forces but it has an ionic bond. An ionic bonding is a stronger type of force than a dipole-dipole. So MgO would have the greater boiling point when compared to CO because its intermolecular forces are stronger. Okay, that's it for this video.